Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and welcome back to another Spooky Saturday. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Story 22, Urbexer's Nightmare We are an exploratory species. To travel the globe in search of something new. To be curious of new sights, smells, and even tastes. It is ingrained in us all to explore. In today's day and age, urban exploration has been nothing new. Some may do it to wonder about what was, imagining the atmosphere of a once vibrant, now abandoned place. But some do it for the thrill of knowing something crazy could happen and knowing just right around the corner could be anything or anyone. Like tonight's story, a group of friends share a bone-chilling memory in an abandoned elementary school. Hold your loved ones tight and your flashlights tighter. It's about to get spooky. Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Madeline, and I've been a fan of the channel since December of last year. When I saw you were now doing scary stories that were true, I had to chime in and tell you this story. I live in Canada, and my friends and I are big into urban exploration, mainly because we love the thrill of what we could find, but also was just a way to de-stress from everyday life. Anyway, there's an abandoned elementary school a few blocks from me. Next to it is King's Forest Park, which has a confirmed haunted history. June 2023. At midnight, my friends Connor, Matt, and Brock and I all met up at the school. Flashlights in hand, as a group, we headed in through one of the few entrances we know of. By this time, we had explored the gymnasium building so many times, but walking in there felt different this time. There was a bitter cold in the air that made it extremely difficult to breathe. On top of that, we all could feel a wave of anxiety and a heavy pressure hit our chest. It was so instant. Something was off. We decided to split off into two groups to explore what we could effectively. Brock and I went and checked out a few classrooms and eventually ended up going outside for fresh air. When suddenly, we heard loud footsteps. Human footsteps. They were running in our general direction. Against our better judgment, we run toward the noise and bump back into Connor and Matt. Their eyes showed genuine concern and asked if I was okay. I said yes and asked why he was running. From his recounting, Connor was in one of the classrooms when from somewhere in the building, he heard a woman scream bloody murder. He said it sounded like it came from inside the building as if her life was in imminent danger is how he described the sound. That's when they took off thinking I was hurt. I assured him that I was not the one who screamed, that I was outside. This horrified everyone in the group. We collectively gathered our things and booked it out of there. To this day, we haven't figured out who that was who screamed. All I know is that the energy we felt in the beginning was definitely not pleasant and didn't feel like a human presence. It felt darker. Some would say, inhuman. If you enjoyed this video and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.